Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and it is time to assemble and bake our turducken. Okay, now you've seen me debone all these parts. Well, we debone, partially debone the turkey. So let's start with our turkey, and let's hope he's thawed. But that's why we rolled it up in parchment paper so that hopefully even if he's partially frozen we should be able to easily there we go we should be able to unroll him not too bad okay turtle is a little bit frozen still but well I don't think that's going to be well maybe it is going to be a problem hang on let me think about this oh wait 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 as long as we can get the skin there we go. He's doing as he's told, like a good boy. There. That's not so bad, eh? Okay, so here's our gluten-free stuffing. Now, you don't want too much stuffing, folks, for the simple reason is you've got to put other things inside this turkey. So we're just going to stuff all the cavities we can find, including the area that I took the bone out of the thigh. Being very careful if your bird is partially frozen, why? The skin actually is easier to rip. Okay, now technically, we are not making a turducken. We're making a turchucken because my chicken's bigger than my duck meat. So the chicken has to come next because the duck has no skin on it. So we're going to put it in the center layer so that it can wrap around the duck. And here's its little legs, all nice and boned out. Now maybe we should do it this way. What do you think? Yeah, I think that will even it out more. It'll be, make it more uniform. So let's start stuffing these little, little drumsticks with stuffing. Now again, folks, this is just the, the gluten-free bread and the lack of sausage in the stuffing is only because I have company coming with dietary restrictions. But you do whatever stuffing you want. If you want to do cornbread stuffing, if you want to do, you know, bread and onion and sausage and all that stuff, that's great. But we've just added mushrooms and nuts and all kinds of cool stuff. Now the reason we're putting the duck last instead of the chicken is because he doesn't have any skin as you well know when you saw me do the video there's only the one little piece of skin we're adding for fat and flavor here's his breasts here's his thighs and here is that little piece of skin now the magic is supposed to happen pour all this on here whoops my wonderful assistant melissa who i'll show you on camera later when she's not so shy she's going to help me now if some of the stuffing falls out folks it's okay we just want to make sure it's all together now what we're going to do we're going to pull this together if you'll pull the front melissa we're going to pull this all together and I'm going to take a skewer there we go and I'm going to go through here thank you honey and I'm going to go through here now you can thread the skewer up this way if you like folks okay now this is what we're going to do okay now because I only have three skewers we're going to pull out the big guns. We're going to pull out a sharp darning needle. And folks, the easiest way to thread a, a large darning needle or even small quilting needle, wrap it around the eye like that, pull it tight, and then it goes through the eye without catching on the rough ends of your thread. Okay, now, hope I can do this backwards here. All right, we're, I should have left more neck skin. Normally I do, but what we're gonna do 
So we're just going to start with the opening there and we're going to tie. And once I have this all sewn closed, I'm going to truss it as well. And we're going to do what's called a blanket stitch. All right, we're going to leave the loop over here. We're going to enter from this side and then we're going to pull. And what that does is the, the stitch that comes along, it actually makes a running stitch to pull. In. All right, now let's just pull this together like so. And then we're going to go back through here. God, you'd almost think I knew what I was doing, eh, folks? All right, folks, I'm just going to sew up his bottom because he's looking very exposed. And I'm going to back stitch back up here just to make sure everything is in place. Bob's your uncle. Our turducken is lopsided because this leg isn't stuffed. But I'm really hoping he'll just... There we go. Yeah, you stay there. I'm really hoping that uh, he'll kind of flatten out. Okay, now let's truss him. Always start with more string than you need, folks. For the simple reason is it's a pain in the butt to get halfway through trussing your bird and run out of string. Okay, now, like I did with the stitching, we're going to have a string here, and then we're going to twist it, and we're going to bring it down and around the turkey and up and there we go you almost think i knew what i was doing eh yeah <laughs> yeah but she he's no the pig's going to take longer to cook than this now that's a, this is another good thing for your your uh, little skewers folks is they've got something for your string to find purchase on and then we're just going to chopped yeah you chopped his off. foot off but that's okay because we're going to wrap it around here and then we're going to bring it up through in between and then back up and that's going to hold that like so. That'll be my phone. And then we're just going to retie it to the front truss and away we go. It's not elegant looking folks, but you know what? That's on the back, I think. Okay. Okay, can we get a collective? Ooh. Ah. All right, we're going to wrap this in foil, and he's going to go out, and Papa's going to take him out, and he's going to put him in the, gra the outdoor oven with the pig. It's going to be hot in Am I telling you how to cook your pig? No, no. <laughs> okay, folks. We're just going to put our two pieces of foil together here. We don't want any of this wonderful juice escaping. Thank you. You want more water? That should be, it's going to evaporate really fast. Here, give me some apple juice. Let's put some apple juice on there, folks. We'll see what that does. We're going to take this up. And we're going to very carefully crimp our edges and then we're just going to kind of roll this down a little bit. We just want to make sure that there isn't a whole lot of steam coming out of here. And this will helpfully, the, the, the folded edge underneath will help keep the juice from spilling out. And we are going to hand this over. Freaking creature. You don't want to do that. 
It's gonna but be a million you years. cooked the thing. I've only spent a week doing it. Ruin it, and we'll say this is a how how does it turducken. I don't yak like she does. Here's my pet. Burn and nice. Right. We're gonna throw in a couple of bags of charcoal. Beautiful. All right, we have to take Piggy out uh, for a few minutes. <laughs> it cooked quick. Look at the color of them. It's all burnt, but by God, it smells good. And we have the turkey. Cooking in the oven. Doing nice. Okay, here's my lovely tool shed with all the pretty pumpkins hanging. Nice little table display. Some pie. Mums. <sighs> nice little fire going in the box. Uh, table setting. Lights. And when this is all over, it's my workshop. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving to all. Wait until we cut the cage off the pig. There's the pig. There's dessert. There's our Duchess potatoes. Oh my goodness. There is the turducken. And there's our squash and our green beans. We could set the potatoes on our stove. And we're all here in our little addition. Way. You want me to hold that while you cut? Stuff. I need a. You got to slice across it to show the layers, Howie. Mm -hmm. It's weird. You have to cut it this way. <laughs> That's what Miss Justice is waiting for. Uh -huh. Put the bun somewhere. Right? I'm waiting. No, they are. I'm waiting. Right? Oh, you want the bun? No, no, I just didn't know. Slice up. And there, wow. there it is. Let me take a picture of that. All right, that looks let's delicious. See. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, Happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to slice this puppy. I'm going to eat some. And uh, maybe I'll take some still shots of everybody going, mmm. Take care. Bye-bye.